Hey there, everybody out in Trainerize Made Simple Land, Coach Rob here. Hey, I um, decided to go ahead and make a quick video at the request of a, a recent client who was asking to walk through this and see what to expect because in our coaching call, I was talking about my strategy as to when and how I was going to be doing the Trainerize Pay to Stripe Connect conversion. And I'll, I'll share that with you guys right now while we look at this <laughs> blank screen. <clears throat> but what I told him I was doing is I was going to go into my Trainerize Pay payment series and take a look and see and, and put it on a piece of paper as to when payments were coming through. And personally, just for comfort and convenience in case something goes burp, is I, I just wanted to find the biggest window of time between processing payments, just in case. And so I, I went and looked at that. And the second consideration is doing it at a time convenient to me to get a hold of Trainerize in case something went wrong. So that would preferably be, you know, in the evening overnight so that I could get a hold of them the next morning, earlier in the week, those type of considerations. And it just so happened, we have, can, we have payments that are mostly in the front, in the beginning of the month, and at the end of the month. So ideally, I would have been doing this in another week and a half or so at the end of the year so that it was a real clean cut between Trainerize Pay history all the way to the end of you know December of 2021 and then Stripe Connect being the new dashboard starts real clean on January the 1st 2022 that's not the way it's going to work for us because we have a payment series that happens between multiple people across those final days in the beginning of January so it's not going to be a clean cut for us if I want a big window it just so happens that right now we're in that biggest window of several days of nothing processing. So I did it now. What I'm going to do in this presentation is I'm going to walk you through screen captures um, of what I saw so that you know what to expect as you go through. So without further ado, here we go. So on the first, pay, uh, first page or whatever it is, we're looking at this. This is in, of course, my Trainerize account. But when you're looking at your payments, set up. This is where you're going to do it. This is what you'll be looking at if you're converting from Trainerize Pay, which we've been on since it started whenever that was, 2014 or something like that. And so right now, Trainerize Pay is on. Stripe is not. I'm very careful in the things I do, so I read all this little write-up. And there are links that Pasha was kind enough to um, post in the group that specifically stated do not turn off payments in Trainerize Pay. I repeat, do not do that. You sign up for Stripe Connect and you proceed through those payments. Once Stripe Connect is set up, it will deactivate Trainerize Pay. So just because it's so vitally important, I'll repeat it again. Do not click off on the turn off payments right here. If you do, all of your current payment processes and products and everything will be killed. There is nothing you can do about it. You will have to set up Stripe, get all your products in there, and re-invoice everyone for everything they have going on. So I can't exp <laughs> express that enough. Don't do anything with Trainerize Pay. Leave that sucker alone. If you have any questions at all, just pause and wait. Because you can see on the screen, you have until March 1st. Trainerize Pay stays in place and will work perfectly fine all the way through March 1st, 2022. So if you have questions or otherwise issues, stay on Trainerize Pay. Set up a coaching appointment with me to walk through this or contact Trainerize directly to walk through it and do it at a more comfortable pace of time. Otherwise, this is the way to do it and I'll walk you through it. I clicked on sign up and connect. This is the first screen that popped up for me. It popped up into my default email address for Trainerize, which I changed to my Stripe email account. And then I typed in my password, which thanks to using Google and all that, you get the option to auto-feel it. You press login. 
it's going to send, we've got two-step verification on everything we do, especially financial transactions and things like that. So it wanted to text me a verification code. I had to enter that code to get to this next page. The default on this page was create a new business. I do not want to do that. If you're creating a new business, what's going to happen is you're going to, well, if you have to, you have to, but you're going to hit a 10 day lag for Stripe to verify your business and hold things and blah, blah, blah until you get your first payout. After that first payout, you'll be on a normal payout sequence. But we've been using Stripe since I can't remember when, since before Trainerize. So we have that account available. So anyway, we did that. And of course, now everybody sees our business address. <laughs> with that it kicks in to verify some business details so it wants to know what your business number is and then the next screen is wanting to know business owners which my wife and I are both co-owners so that's there if you need to add another one you can and then they had this really cool thing I didn't anticipate to fight climate change so you can select to donate a certain amount of uh, half a percent, one percent, one and a half percent, whatever it is, you can designate to start it at some future sales point after 10,000 or something. And then once you've done that, it wants to review your details. So when I was on this page, I went ahead and clicked update to update the information for my wife and I. It wanted a few extra pieces of information. Once I had done that, it accepted it. It popped up this screen, which says the switchover has been completed. And this is what I was preluding to earlier. You can see in the background right here, payments um, is turned off. Trainerize pay has been turned off. Your live payments have been automatically switched over. There's no gap between your ability to accept payments. The only thing that's different is I now go to Stripe to manage payments and pull up reports and all that kind of stuff. I no longer go to Trainerize pay. This is what the trainerize pay looks like. So clicking view details, this is all historically. For me, if I want to pull up any trainerize pay history, basically from today into the past, back to 2014, this is where I will go clicking on view details. In the future, everything will be go to my Stripe account and check that out. And so now everything through trainerize is at the regular Stripe processing of 2.9 well for the US at least 2.9 percent and 30 cents per transaction as opposed to the slightly increased reseller rate jumping over to what you see in Trainerize and this is if you had a Trainerize account in the past and I I edited these names because they both are saying True North Fitness so what I did is I edited this to say TMS SMS for our two primary businesses which is Trainerize Made Simple the business coaching I do and through this group and then stress made simple which is our health coaching and then I edited this to say trainerize pay because when you pull it up this only shows up when you're on this option so you'll see that when you get it but you just click edit and you can change the name and then this is an email I received that said the account's been verified and approved blah 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 and I had this one here because this is currently the status in our Stripe. It says finish varying, firing your account. I clicked on view more. I went in and take a look at it. There's not really anything for me to view. It's just I'm guessing they have to manually or whatever click to verify things. It's everything my prior Stripe account was, which was currently up to date. So I have confidence that everything's going to happen. However, you can bet your bottom friggin' dollar that otherwise payout charges could be paused January 14th. I've got in my planner a note written on January the 5th, if I haven't done it already, to go <laughs> and be checking my Stripe account, which will give me a week before that 14th comes up and everything will be cool after that. So there you go. That, that's everything it is if you're converting across. It's going to be very similar if you are starting your first Stripe account. And then on that one page uh, here, you can see new account. If you are, for instance, creating your first Stripe account through the Trainerize Pay, you'll have your primary dashboard right here. 
you can click start a new account and start one for if there's some other aspect or business component or something like that you want to have you can have a new account within the same overall process because that's what we're looking at now and so like this is the dashboard for it if, if I were to have the other one present we would actually see the uh, summary reports as far as what's going on you'd see the graphing for the financial transactions the upcoming the pending you know everything that's happened stripe has some really cool uh reports but anyway just wanted to show everybody this and um you guys can all give a huge shout out thank you to joe ramirez he's the one that requested that i make a video to show him and everyone else in the group what it looks like this is what it looks like so I appreciate your time and patience with this. And with that, I bid you guys all adieu and have a great evening. I'm doing this on my own, so you can see I'm having a relaxing glass of wine while I do this. So thank you.